something I'm weak in is my analysis. Grammar is usually my biggest problem. Sometimes it's like I, I miss some points that I'm supposed to get. The Literacy Design Collaborative is a framework that puts literacy first. I teach 10th grade global history and geography and we are studying the Industrial Revolution of Great Britain. So I created an LDC module that will be done over about three weeks. When a teacher is writing one of these LDC modules, there's four things that they need to keep in mind. The first is what is the task that you want your students to complete. LDC provides a pretty clear framework. There's a bank of templates there, narrative, informational explanatory, and argumentative. And so they will lay into that template and make it their instructional task, what it is that the students will be answering in terms of a question. The part that's really significant, of course, for the teacher is that they select content, an issue, that is really significant to their discipline and their course even. The task my students will do is to write an argumentative essay around the question, do the achievements and growth of the Industrial Revolution outweigh the cost to society? The second thing is what skills do your students need and that's where it becomes an individual process. What do your students need to improve on throughout the year? If I can teach them those skills, within the context of an LDC module, then I can actually be giving them text in the future and they can do it independently, which is the core of the new standards. The third thing is how are you going to design your instruction? What many tasks are you going to create to scaffold those skills? And then finally, what are your expectations? What do you want out of this? The key result is when you see that paper, when you see that sample of student writing and compare it and assess it based on the rubric and providing feedback to that student. Did this student demonstrate the literacy skills that I had planned at the beginning of my module? I gave them the research packets and the Cornell note sheet so that for every reading that they go through, they're already keeping the task question in mind. The purpose of adding the benefits and the disadvantages to this note sheet is because that's the whole purpose of this task. As I looked around the room, as I listened to them, I think that they were doing the reading and extracting from the text. That's, that's an important skill. What would you guys put as the notes here? Working on dangerous <laughs> machines. Most of the people that worked in the factories were women and children. Did you find any benefits yet? It says that they earn more on in factories than they did on the farm. Okay. They're still earning more in factories. It's helpful because you all you wrote all the notes down, all the facts that you learned. And I asked them to make a teacher explaining the benefits and the costs that they have identified so far in the readings from the Industrial Revolution. And each group had full lists on both sides. What's the positive? Since there were so many employees, it helped the economy and the businesses grow. The disease spread because there's a lot of people living in the tenements. They proved to me that they had learned a lot, that they were able to discuss these issues, the good and the bad. Oh my goodness. Anyway. The children is young right. 14. When I heard um, classmates speak, like, it gave me a better idea of what I'm going to write about. Two hours a day, that's not, going, that's not enough. But they were lucky to have education because the government financed it for them. But was the education yeah. enough for their yeah. future? The conversation just kept growing and growing and questions were being asked and people were disagreeing with one another and the conversation itself is another skill. One house full of 20 families sharing one bathroom. The students had, in groups, had been given um, various members of industrial society. Their task was to take a series of questions, like how did the industrial era affect your life? And they prepared answers as those individuals. I'm over here working in, in factories all day, only bread and butter, and we only have one hour of break. If I was a textile worker, I would have rebelled against the textile owners. The bridging conversation piece is so important because it was supposed to allow students to hear and to discuss the benefits and the costs. If they want to quit, they could quit. That's where we come in, the union leaders.
What if we were subjected to child labor and absolutely no education as teenagers today? What if we were working long hours, beaten every minute, and paid little to no money? We've been working on our introductions, our hook, and really establishing what is their claim to that essential question. Did the costs outweigh the benefits, or did the benefits outweigh the costs? You had a really great hook, and you said, you know, as teenagers today, could we have gone through this? But then make it clear again, the, the benefits did not outweigh the costs, or the costs outweighed the benefits. If the lead isn't right, if the claim isn't right, what you have is students investing time and many times lots of work into something that has no foundation and just falls apart. What LDC provides are those markers, those steps, those stop and consider portions. Whatever you put here, this is your first body paragraph topic. Whatever you put in the middle one, that should be your second body paragraph topic. My hope and my expectation is that they produce solid body paragraphs that include analysis and this evidence. What all literate folks have to do and just to navigate, it's that sort of, well, what do others think? What do I think? What is the evidence? for how I think and then how do I report that and communicate it in a way that's effective. Considering the competing view. That could be a political issue that they're talking about, a current event that they're talking about. You don't have to agree with it, but at least to know what they're saying. And that to me is one of the most important skills. A little poly right there. Yeah, you might, it, could, it could obviously harm people. They had to provide reasons for the counterclaims, but then they had to refute the comments. So you basically have to say, Sure, that's true, however, and then go back to your claim that's saying it's still not worth the cost to society. In the essay, we are supposed to be talking about the opposing we as well. So I'm not just going to say that the idea of them is disgusting. We, I'm, I'm going to say it also makes sense. <laughs> They are going to exchange drafts of the introduction, the body paragraphs, and the competing views. Where is your claim? Where's the introduction? I guess you have a hook, but you don't really have a background information. I know what side you're fighting for, but you know. I forgot to put that in. Oops, okay, let's check that off. No claim. I was really, really pleased with their peer editing skills. And I saw students saving each other's grades a little bit by saying, oh, this is missing or this doesn't match. So I feel like that skill has improved. I'm so used to you grading our papers. And it's like grading his paper is, I just feel like I'm, I'm a teacher now. LDC, when the task is right and the mini tasks are right and the structure is right, does the kind of thing that we've wanted to happen in all classes, but especially social studies, science, and English classes. And that is students move through a process toward sifting the information and then toward using the information to support their own assertion. This is a new learning experience for me, and it's obviously a new learning experience for them. It's putting more accountability on the students to take pride in their own learning. You get to like understand the process and how, and how to write a good essay. Like you know the steps to follow and you know if you're on the right track. It's been a great process and it's challenging and it's time consuming but the results are really amazing and fulfilling as a teacher. <laughs>